Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, Monday through Thursday, which is August 29th through September 1st. It was a good week last week and then there's this week. <laughs> Y'all, I was supposed to go to, I talked in my live yesterday about going to a consignment sale this morning got to get up drive an hour wrong week next weekend then I told Robert there's a in the newspaper there's a church sale they were advertising so after martial arts off we go luckily we hadn't gotten very far and I couldn't I didn't write the address down so I went to look it up October 6th who advertised for a rummage sale for October 6th now so yeah, it's been kind of that kind of morning, but plowing through my stuff, plowing through my profit piles, trying to get stuff listed. I got a lot of sales to share with you. Like I said, last week and this past weekend was good. This week, not so good. It's all right. So I have eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. Facebook, dead. I ended up all of my listings and I went and I told you I was going to pick one category so I thought I'll pick little people because I've done well on there with little people I might have I don't know 20 they're not even getting views at all so I really think it's broken and then Bonanza nothing on Bonanza all right lots to go through here Y'all, I even messed this up. It's on Poshmark. Let's go back to the beginning. But these are closed cells here. That's why I got confused. All right. Old Navy floral dress. Extra large girls. Size 14. Sold for best offer of $8. I picked these up. I've sold these once and then had somebody returned them. And there were two of them. And now I've sold them both again. All right, Riders by Lee, women's button shirt, sold for $9.25, best offer. And then, I think this is the last of the Sherwin-Williams hats. I bought two of them at an estate sale for a dollar each. This one sold for the full asking price, $19.95, which means it had just been ended and sell similar, and it sold before my sale set in. All right, gallery. This is a pink lamb sheep plush, six inch. This sold within an hour of listing for twelve dollars and ninety five cents. Do you ever get that thought when something sells instantly that, you know, was it was it something? Should it? I've listed it for more. I just always think somebody had probably some kind of sold or a um, search. And I listed it and they purchased it. Vintage Sunbeam Mixmaster Glass Bowl. I'm telling you, we pick up these small appliances all the time and I part them out. This set came with also the small bowl. I sold just this large bowl for $27.85. And This is from the Highway 127 Little People set that I picked up. Paid $95 for an entire box. Tons of the figures and accessories. This um, plastic bodied queen sold for $10.50. This I picked up at the Goodwill bins on I think our last sourcing trip. I actually had the train tracks and this train, there's actually supposed to be a third car in it. I listed the train track separately, um, and then this. This sold very quickly. I took a best offer of $16. I think, I think Robert picked this up at an estate sale. It, we picked up a bag of these stamp pins. I don't remember how many were in there, maybe 12 or 15. I listed each of them separately. I think this is the first one that has sold. It sold for best offer of $8. I want to say he only paid a couple dollars for the entire bag, so we're already going to be in the profit. Clark's Shoes. I don't know why it's written way up there. Y'all. 
but we love Clark's. I pick them up all the time. It's like if it says Clark's and it's right reasonably priced, I know to pick it up because we sell them very consistently, like fifteen to twenty dollars. And like I said, right here, sold for best offer of twenty dollars. These Disney Lion King juice cups, I think I bought a whole bunch. It's one of the estate sales we went to where I bought a lot of coffee mugs and other glassware. Um, I had two of these. This person offered me $8 each, so I went ahead and accepted their offer. So both glasses sold for $16. When you're at estate sales and yard sales, always look inside the crock pots because um, a lot of times there's two different ones of these bread and cake pans. There's a smaller version that goes in one of the the smaller crock pots and then this one was one of the larger ones um, a lot of times I pick up crock pots for like five dollars or less the older ones um, but especially if they have one of these in because I usually sell these like twelve to twenty dollars and this one sold for fifteen seventy six now I talked about this um, person in one of my last um, Watts sold. This person buys for me on occasion. I am pretty sure they are a freight forwarder, um, but she bought three things last week and then she turned right around and bought 10 more. So this is just 10. Almost all of them are vintage plush, um, probably except Woody or Build-A-Bear, but 10 plush, $72.20. We picked this up at an estate sale. I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar for it. This is Grandma Wheaton's Pure Honey Glass Jar, number 16. Of course, it was empty. Um, it sold for best offer of $21. These are advertising plush. This was not from my online high bid auction, however. I'm pretty sure I picked this up at the Goodwill bin, so it would have been pay by the pound. This is hairs potato chips. I've never heard of it. But this was Chip the Beaver plush from 1986. He sold for $9.25. Jelly Cat. Love that brand. I don't find it very often and when I do get them listed they usually sell very quickly. This one was probably less than a week. Um, this is the 12 inch bear. It sold for best offer of $15. Kelly toy. I pick them up very often, especially when it's dog specific dog breeds. This was some type of terrier. Small six inch sold for best offer of $8. I think this was from the lot that Farm Girl Scavenger Noel sent me. This is the Little People Sesame Street um, Susan figure. She sold for $8.32. I found four more of them in my Little People set that I bought at the Highway, highway 127, and there were four Gordons, so I went ahead and made um, sets of two, so four sets. This is from the Highway 127 Little People set. Um, this person bought this item for $9.25, and then the second item for $10.18. This is Oscar the Grouch. Um, I put a number three there because I I think I found four of them. There was four of them. Two of them were in comparable condition. This one had lots of wear. And then another one that was in the lot here on the lid, it had a handle where this one is flat. So I just made three different listings for them. Briarberry Bears from Fisher Price. I collected them at one point. I had almost all of them. I would just, this was my strategy when I was collecting them. Everybody spells them Briar. It would be like two words or Briar Berry, B-E-A-R-Y. So I would go on eBay and search for misspelled listings and then I would purchase large lots that way. That's the way to do it if you're trying. For me, that was how I, almost completed the entire set and then I think I sold it all as one huge lot. I don't remember how much. 
several hundred dollars though. But I picked this up at a yard sale. I want to say I paid five dollars for it. It was still in its original packaging, but you can tell here it had yellowed like it had been sitting in a store window or something. It still sold for twenty dollars and forty one cents, but it took a while. Hasbro Softies. I love finding them. This was from the Wuzzles series. This is the Hopopotamus. Um, it was like an animal, a plush that was two different animals combined. So Hoppo has the bunny rabbits and a hippo. It sold for best offer of $9. Okie dokie. I love that brand. This was the Lion Plush um, 16 inches. It sold for $18. Fisher Price Pika Blocks. Um, I think I got this with like one piece of the train, so I decided to split it up um, and sell the train separately and then the four blocks. These um, are very collectible. A lot of people want to get as many of them. It came in all kinds. There's probably hundreds of different ones of these blocks. Um, there's ABC sets and construction vehicles and just crazy. And usually they do well in, in lots. I try to keep my lots to a point where um, it stays in the first class range. It just makes it more affordable for buyers. Um, these sold for $13.90. Again, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So if you notice on all of my listings, um, there is calculated or flat rate shipping depending on if it's um, over a pound or first class. This was, I paid a dollar I believe at a estate sale. I thought when I plugged it in I could not get the letters or the, the LED to be bright. It just seemed faint. I wasn't going to list it but I went ahead and listed it for parts only. I kept sending out $10 offers on it because it's been listed a couple of months and then it sold for the, the listed price of $12.04. This is a viewer sale, so thank you very much, Kathy. This was a Mickey Mouse Walt Disney 1971 t-shirt. It sold for best offer of $10. If you are interested in purchasing stuff from my store. I do have a coupon code now just for my viewers. It's Rebel Reseller 10 to get 10% off anything that you want to purchase in my store. I so appreciate it. Y'all make me happy. These are Ralph Lauren women's jeans. I forgot a little space right there. I guess they were called boyfriend jeans. They sold for $17.68. American Girl doll clothes. I'm always picking up doll clothes and then taking the time to try to figure out if they're American Girl or Our Generation or Batot or any of the other brands. Um, usually the American Girl stuff gets listed very quickly and then everything else is on shelves right there. I've got tons I need to deal with. These sold for $13.90. Kelly Toy. I like the brand. I think it's a good quality. These are cute. I think most um, plush that is seasonal for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas tend to do well. Um, I took a best offer of $8 for this candy corn mummy plush. Carter's Owl Lovey. I find this specific one very often. It's my bread and butter, probably a little bit less than my bread and butter. This one sold for $7.39, but usually I pick them up for a quarter or 50 cents at yard sales. Douglas, this is a cute little brown kitten plush, six inches long, but it was kind of rolled up, kind of like in a ball. Very cute. It sold for best offer of $15. When I initially bought this at an estate sale, I thought it was strawberry shortcake, but it's not. It's one of those, I guess, knockoffs or whatever. It's called Orange Juice Doll. Um, she was made in Hong Kong, so she is vintage. Sold for $8.25. I bought a huge tote 
of like Christmas Village stuff. Some of it was Department 56. Some of it was other brands. It was just full. I haven't even listed the buildings. I've listed all of the accessories, but I've got, I think, five of the porcelain buildings sitting over there I need to do something with. This was one of those, I kept having one buyer, potential buyer, keep sending me like $10 offers, $10 offers, but the comps were not supporting that. So I kept countering and sending out offers for $20 and finally somebody else bought it. But I, I'm not kidding. It was probably at least five times that they sent me repeated $10 offers, $10 offers. But these are Department 56 Village Winter Birch Trees. Gons Cheeky Monkey Plush. Very cute. I like picking up Gons. That's not Webkin's. This was from 1995. It sold for best offer of $9. I'm all about sending and accepting reasonable offers. Gotta get stuff moving. This, I have not had this before. It said it was Line Friends Rabbit Plush, and it had a um, shirt on it that said New York Coney. Um, 15 inches. I didn't have it listed very long, probably a month or so. It sold for $37.15. And then I picked these up at a yard sale for $5. They are UGG Kensington Women's motor moto bike biker boots sold i kept sending out offers again on this for fifty dollars fifty dollars and then it sold for full asking price of fifty four dollars and ninety five cents this was my one etsy sale this is go away go away top cash back this is a Gund Brown Bear Plush, 10 and a half inches, 1976. It sold for $49.95 on Etsy. I say this quite often. I need to get more stuff listed on there. I probably have 200 maybe listings on there. And I'm making a, a, a couple of sales a week. I've just, I got to get more stuff on there. But again, when you're listing on Etsy, it's homemade or vintage or handmade or. This is five Mercari cells. I've been getting probably at about one a day this week, maybe not quite, but still making cells on there. This is a dandy Red Bear Plush 18 inch. Um, this is from like a, I guess they're like annual type plush. I didn't put the thing, the, oh, here it is. What is that saying? 2010, it sold for $14 on Mercari. These are Pampered Chef, Chef. These are Pampered Chef, let me do that again. These are Pampered Chef flexible cutting mats. There was a small one and a large one. I wanna say I paid like a dollar each for the two of them at a yard sale. They sold for um, Mercari for $21. Now, uh, with these non-eBay sales, for those of you, again, new to my channel, everything starts on eBay. So I have over 10,000 listings on there. And then I pick and choose where I'm going to cross-list. I'm trying to get as many as I can of my listings cross-listed to at least one other platform. I'm nowhere near that, but I'm trying, um, and I use this perfectly to do that. It's very quick, very easy. So there's my commercial. I picked up a bunch of these just little vintagey looking Halloween and Christmas knickknacks. I find them all the time at estate sales, usually on half price day. I get them for a dollar or 50 cents. Um, this. You know, everything's selling right now, Halloween. This was just a little votive ghost and pumpkin. It sold for $15 on Mercari. Now, excuse the ugly picture. I don't normally do this, but somebody on Mercari requested a bundle deal. So I went ahead and pulled the four items that she was interested in. 
Y'all, I bag everything, so I didn't want to tear the bags open just to take a picture and then have to rebag them. So I just, I take a picture of the four, I copy over here all the descriptions that I had from the other listings, and then I think I only gave her like $2 off. That's all she, she just wanted the bundle deal for the shipping, um, and it sold $35. And then this was a nice sell. Um, I don't know this brand. I hadn't found it. I want to say this came from Shannon. She had gifted me a box um, probably a couple of months ago. And I just knew based on how it felt that it was something special. But it's called My Minky. And it was just a cute little puppy dog plush 15 inches in these cute teal and black colors. It sold for $56 on Mercari. And then we started here, but we'll just say it again. Jones, New York. This was a Poshmark sale. These sold for $12. These are Vans leopard print sneakers. It was men's size six and a half, women's size eight. Um, they sold for $15. And then American Eagle women's jeans size six they sold for $15 so that's it for some of the sales that I had last week I tried to do a wide variety of the eBay stuff um, just to kind of show you the different things that are selling for me like I said last week was good this week not so much but it's okay you know we're building up make sure you've ordered your um, shipping supplies get ready for fourth quarter I bought a bunch I know my mail carrier was not happy with me but you know the large priority the small priority the shoe boxes I use tons of them make sure you order your bubble mailers American bubble boy um, get ready because fingers crossed right fingers crossed we're gonna have an amazing amazing fourth quarter. All right. Bye.